Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively. Did you go to the movie yesterday? Yes, I did. What did you think of it? I don't think much of the film. I think it is the worst one I have ever seen. Oh, I'm not sure I agree with you. It was not a good one, but it was not the worst one. Actually, it wasn't too bad. I can't think the same. What's more, some scenes were good, much fit for the children. I couldn't agree with you. You should have seen the line at the housing office. It took me an hour to make my dormitory deposit for next year. Have you made yours yet? No, I'm not sure I'm going to. Why not? There's not much time left. Are you short of cash? No, thanks. I am okay. You'd better hurry up if you want a dorm room next September. Well, actually, I am thinking about living off campus. Do you have any idea how much that would cost? I know it would be more expensive. I think I could handle it though. It's that this dorm is so noisy that I can't get anything done. You should study in the library the way I do. Think of the money you'd save. I've got to think it over some more. I hope you will have second thoughts. I think that's settled. I'm tired of your cut and dried opinions. Who do you think you are? How dare you speak to me like this? Why not? Don't be worried. Please sit down and take it easy. How could I feel easy? I'm really pissed. But you should avoid finger pointing when you haven't got the real facts. Okay, I'll try my best to calm down first. I just had a terrible week. What a shame. I fell down and hurt my arm. That's too bad. Then my son drove into a tree. I'm sorry to hear that. The dog bit the delivery boy. What a pity. And a storm blew our roof away. Ho, oh, no. I'll never ever work together with him. What happened? Quarrel again? Will you take my materials back from him for me? Please. Don't ask me. I don't want to be involved in your quarrel. My goodness. She is 30 seconds faster than the world records in 5,000 meters race. Excuse me. What did you say? The Chinese girl have broken the world record in the Olympic Games. That's incredible. I can't believe it. You have to. It's sure. How amazing. Hey Matt, I just got a job at a consulting firm. Congratulations. That's great. I'm so happy. I don't have to worry about finding a job and interviewing anymore. When do you start? I start next Monday. You're going to have to put in a lot of hours you know. I know. I'm a little nervous, but it's pretty exciting. I bet. You must be stoked. Yeah. I'm going to celebrate tonight. Wanna hang out? Sure. It's on you, right? Of course. How about Toby? Should we call him? I don't know. He's a little depressed.
He's having a hard time finding a job right now. I should still tell him. In the least, I can refer him to my company. It might help. That sounds like a good idea. So, Emily, how was your day? I don't think you really want to hear about it. It can't have been that bad. Go on and tell me about it. To be honest, it was horrible. My manager is such a pain in the neck. Why? What happened? Well, he made quite a few mistakes on the monthly report and when his supervisor found them, my manager blamed them on me. That's not very fair. What did you do? There wasn't really anything that I could do. There's always been a lot of bad blood between my manager and myself. If I had said anything, he would have fired for me for sure. Does he treat everyone in your department like this? He treats everyone pretty poorly, but the way he treats me really takes the cake. Do you have any idea why he treats you worse than the others? I really have no idea. All I know is that the thought of him really curls my hair. Is there anyone else you can talk to about it at U Company? Not really. I'm hoping to live with it for a while until I get a promotion. That's very sensible. It sounds like you have a good head on your shoulders. I try to be sensible about it, but it's not very easy. Sometimes you just have to grin and bear it. That's so true. When you have a taste for success, you can't let dishonest people like your manager get in the way. That's a cool jacket. Where did you get it? I bought it when I was on vacation in Nepal. You didn't ring me last night. You said you would. I'm sorry to have made you disappointed. That's all right. But why were you so rude to me at lunch? Was I? Sorry. I didn't mean to be. I do apologize. And why are you yarning now? Are you bored? Forgive me, darling. I'm very tired. This man looks very handsome. Is he married? Sure. He has already married. A father of two boys. Oh, I can't believe it. He looks very young. He took the picture when he was only 21 years old. I see. Look. The girl is so beautiful and she is smiling at me. She is lovely. I can't agree with you. She's pretty, but she always blows hot and cold. What makes you think so? She's my sister, you know. Mr. Ben, what do you think of the book? It's an excellent one. I like it very much. Why? It includes a lot of useful words and phrases. I agree with you. Lisa wins the first prize in the English speech contest of her college. Really? That's really wonderful. I'm so happy for her. But I always feel disappointed. I have many problems with English learning. Honey, cheer up. I feel confused about the grammars. I'm sure you'll do fine if you try your best. And my writing is not good. I feel so frustrated. Be confident and never give up. I know that, Mom. But sometimes I'm just sad. Keep your chin up. Remember, nothing is impossible to a willing heart. 
Yes, mom, you are right. Nothing is impossible to a willing heart. I will keep going. Would you go to the bookstore with me? It sounds a good idea. Let's go. Do you know Jeffrey has published his second detective novel? Yes, I heard about that. And I know you want to buy it, but I'm not interested in detective novels. So what are you interested in? Magazines about fashions, such as Cosmopolitan. I know that magazine. It's very popular. Yes, I can lend you some. Thank you, but I'm not interested. I am so bored all day. Why? Jack borrowed a large sum of money from me and didn't pay me back. Don't make a mountain out of molehill. I am sure he will do that on his payday. You mustn't touch the wet paint, Bill. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Try to be more careful in future. I shall. I wasn't as careless as John Sampson. He walked across that wet cement over there. The workman oughtn't to leave it without a note ice. The headmaster asked them not to do so. Then why isn't there a notice? They went to their stores to get one. Here they come with it now. But look at them. They've forgotten about the wet cement and they're walking across it to put up the notice. Our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English.